In the previous video, we learned about the basics of Astro.js. We looked into the makeup of what an Astro component is, the file structure, working with styles, JavaScript, as well as fetching data. And then in this video, we're gonna to go to the next step and we're going to learn how to implement a framework like React into Astro, as well as how we use that to hydrate interactivity into our React components. And then finally, at the end, we'll add another framework to see two of them running side by side. So without further delay, let's jump into it. So the goal here is we're gonna create a component that it's going to expect a user's input, they're going to submit, and then we will greet that user. I'm going to start a fresh project here, and we're going to use the simple installation with no TypeScript once again. To get started, run npx create asteroid latest and go through the steps that suit you best. So to start, we're going to go to our index page and clear everything out. And then I'm going to add a text input for the user to put their name and then a button to submit. But I've done all of this in an Astro file. Where's React? Where's the interactivity? Where's the JavaScript? We could write this with normal JavaScript in a script tag, and that would be totally fine. But we're here to do it with a React component. So for this, we're going to add React. Let's run npx astro add React. Once that is run, we can take a look at our Astro config, and we can see that Astro has actually installed the integration for us. This is us just adding a dependency to Astro so that it knows what to build. This now means we have the ability to create and use React components in our Astro files. So what do we do next? Let's take the logic we have just created in our index file and extract that into a React component. We will then use the useState hook to store our visitor's name and later greet them. We can then make use of our visitor state and update it when the input is changed. Then finally, just for good measure, we're gonna track the state of when they click the button and then we will show the greeting of our visitor. Let's go ahead and enter our name and click submit. Wait, why is it not working? So this is where Astro and Island architecture comes into play. By default, our new React component will just be HTML and CSS. Astro won't actually load up the interactive aspect of the component unless we tell it to. So how do we do that? We need to tell Astro that this component is actually something we wanted to hydrate with its JavaScript. To do so, we add client load to where we're making use of this component. And when the client loads up, it will then load the JavaScript for that component. And the important part here is that it will only load the JavaScript that it actually needs. So if we make reference to this image here, each component can be seen as an island. And when we tell that island that we want it to load up its interactivity via client load, it will then only load up the JavaScript that it needs and ship only that to the user. And that's the gist of island architecture within Astro. You can also use client visible. And the difference here is that JS won't be loaded until that user actually scrolls down to it. So you can choose what you want to do in these cases. It is important to know that you can't do this sort of hydration with Astro components, only with frameworks like React or Vue, etc. So now we've got our React component and let's just say we have a new component made in a different framework, in this case, SolidJS. How do we get that working alongside our React component? Adding this to our project is as simple as what we did above. Let's run npx astro add solid. Now that'll update our config and we're gonna go ahead and create our new components in solid as well and then import that and run it side by side with our React component. This is useful maybe if you're using a different library or have different teams working with different frameworks. It's really up to you how you'd want to use it. At the end of the day, all these frameworks are just gonna become HTML, CSS and JavaScript but Astro is there to make it easy for you and to make sure that it's done right. And that is it for this video. In the next, I'm gonna show you how to share state between your Astro components using nano stores. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.